I'm so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you my pamper routine. So I did my typical like brush my teeth, wash my face, and I lit my favorite candle this morning. And now I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm on day two hair, so I'm not gonna wash it yet. <laughs> I have had a very simple shower routine lately, starting out with my favorite foaming face wash. I love this one. First, I wash my body with a bar of soap to get clean and then I'll shave. I've been shaving like pretty much every day. And now I'm exfoliating with my Whey body scrub. This is also a scalp scrub, but as you can see, there's like two drops left. And to finish off with my body wash, this is what I use to smell good. So after I'm already clean from the bar of soap, I use this one. The scent is amazing. And I swear this scent like sticks to me. So I smell good all day. Like I can smell it on myself after I get out of the shower. So a lot of the steps I'm gonna show you right now isn't stuff I do every single day. This is more of like a maintenance routine. Like I do not have time to do this stuff every day. So I do it once in a while to keep my routine more minimal. And my skin has been doing so much better. Like it hasn't looked this good in so long. And obviously it's not perfect. Like there's still so many spots. It's a huge difference, a huge difference. Also, I have an all pink outfit on right now. I'm kind of loving it. I am going to do a little bit of facial shaving. I have these, which are little razors. The reason I wanna do my entire face, cause obviously we all have hair all over our entire face, is because I feel like sometimes when I look at videos and pictures of myself wearing like my everyday makeup, the hair like really stands out. And not that that's like a bad thing, but I feel like it'd be nice to not have that. I know a lot of people say they break out really bad as soon as they do this. I've done like facial shaving before and usually my skin is fine. It's been a minute since I did like my entire face. So we'll see. I feel like this is just going to be so satisfying. The texture of this side of my face now is crazy. It's like so smooth. It's like unreal. I just feel like makeup application will be so much smoother now. So I'm so excited to see how it goes today. My face just feels so clean. Next, I'm gonna be using my frozen cucumber. I talked about this in one of my last videos, but I saw this girl on TikTok put a cucumber in the freezer and then use it like straight on your face like this. I thought it was so genius. I never thought about it before because I've used an ice roller in the past. I've done like the ice bowl where you put your face in it, but also with cucumbers, they're so good for you. So this is like a combo of both. It is very relaxing. And then you just like cut off that piece that you use and put it back in the freezer. Next, I recently got these under eye masks. I bought these on Amazon. I don't know how good they actually are. I just really like using these in the morning. Makes me feel like I have the cutest little routine. I'm gonna go with the rose ones today, of course. They just smell so good. My skin honestly just feels so good. I don't know, I've just been loving my routine lately. It is a disaster on my bathroom counter, I'm not gonna lie. I was just gonna clean it up and make it look cute so you guys could see like my setup, but this is just really bad. coffee break to make an iced honey latte with oat milk. This has been my go-to drink recently. And now that I have an espresso machine, I can make it at home, which is the best thing ever. My skin is feeling and looking so good. Like I really feel like it's glowing this morning. That is pretty much it for my morning maintenance. And now I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair and get ready for the day. I have a couple appointments to go to in this video, but I think I've showed you guys how I do my makeup and my hair and my entire routine so many times. So I'm just gonna skip that and I'm gonna do it off camera and then I will come back to you guys when I'm ready to go to my first appointment of this video. I 
just got in my car because I'm about to head to an appointment I have today and I am so excited and I am doing something so different today. I've never done this before, but today I'm getting a Brazilian blowout. So over the last couple months, I've been trying to do as much research as possible to see if this would be a good fit for me. If you guys don't know, I have naturally pretty curly hair, but I've never learned how to style it. Like I don't know how to take care of my curly hair. I don't know how to make it nice and movable. So I end up straightening it almost every single day or blow drying it all the time. Today I didn't do anything to it just because I knew I had this appointment, but I blow dried it yesterday and now I would have to style it again and use more heat. So I'm trying to make my hair healthier. I'm trying to grow it out. I wanted to find other solutions so I wouldn't have to put as much heat on my hair and damage it. You guys get the idea, but I'm headed over to a new salon today. Okay, let's go. not be happier with how my hair came out like are you kidding me it just has never felt this way or looked this way I mean, oh my God. It just feels so silky and perfect. I got a little bit of a trim and I also got my curtain bangs trimmed a little bit. And I also bought a couple products. I just was so excited. This was my first time at this salon and she just did like such a good job. I just cannot believe it. Like my hair has never felt this way. It's never looked like this. I bought a new shampoo and conditioner. This was recommended by her to lock in the treatment that she applied. I am so excited to use these. I've never seen these before. They're from Sweden. And and then I also bought this product. This is a heat protectant and I'm so excited. It's from the same brand from Sweden. I guess they know their shit. I can't wait to try this one too. So I bought all of these. The three products were an extra 124 and then the treatment today was 220, but my total with tip and everything ended up being like 400. So I knew it was gonna be an expensive day. I know by now you guys know this. I am obsessed with getting my nails done. I get just the cutest sets. Like I have to give myself credit. Sadly, I have to say goodbye to these nails because I am going on vacation and it's a long trip. So my nails will be growing out very fast. So I wanna get a fresh set right before I go. I am excited though. I love getting my nails done and I literally just go in there, sit in the chair and just go for it for like two hours. A lot of people like bring headphones or do something while they get their nails done. I literally just sit there and enjoy the process. <laughs> Um, you're kidding. My nail artist literally went off today. I am like in love. Um, I was about to give her a kiss for giving me this set. They just fucking pop off every time I come to this nail salon. I am so happy with these. I'm about to take a million pictures right now, but I can't. Like, you're fucking kidding. Last time I had this was when I was at my old apartment and smelling it is like so nostalgic because it's what I used all the time. It smells like my last apartment's shower because I used it every day in the shower. Okay, but none of them smell as good. I think I have to get it again. None of them smell as good. It 
hasn't been this nice out in so long. So I am in the bathroom and we are gonna get ready for bed. After I feel good about the work I did throughout the day, I reward myself with watching an episode of my show and then going to sleep. Typically, I'm just not a reality TV person but one of my best friends was like you need to watch the new season of love island so i was like okay fine it is so good like it's honestly become like guilty pleasure i am obsessed so that's what i'm gonna be watching tonight um if you guys are keeping up with this season let me know season six I am gonna remove my makeup. This is honestly something I look forward to at the end of every single day. I know it's bad, but I've been using makeup wipes. They are just so convenient and so easy. Now I'm taking a wet washcloth and just going over everything to get like the residue from the makeup wipe removed from my skin too. And I also really like to use these toner pads just to make sure that everything is removed from my skin. So now I know my face is completely clean and free of makeup. I do love finishing off my night routine though with a lip mask, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks are so good. The berry one is like unbeatable. So that is my little night routine tonight. It's honestly just such a simple and easy routine for every single night. I feel like when I have a really extensive routine too, then I get too lazy to do like a million steps every night. So as long as my makeup's off and my face is clean, I don't need anything else super crazy. Mm -hmm. 